Hello everyone. So in the previous lecture, we have had a look at some terminology which is associated with a pair of linear equations in two variables, right? We saw what we mean by a pair of linear equations in two variables. And we saw how we represent this pair of linear equations on a graph, right? We also saw three different kinds of graphs that can be formed by a pair of linear equations in two variables, right? So in the first type, we'll get two lines which are actually intersecting at only one point. The other case is where we get two parallel lines. And the next case is where we get two lines which are actually coincident. We also saw what we mean by a solution of a pair of linear equations in two variables, right? So a, pair, a solution of a linear equation, of a pair of linear equation, is actually a value of x and y which satisfies both the equations, right? Or in geometrical terms, this is a point which lies on both the lines, right? So now let's move on and study about what different methods exist for solving a pair of linear equations in two variables. Before doing that, there is one particular thing that we should be aware of. So for, a, for the three different cases that we have, where a pair of lines actually intersects at only one point and a pair of lines is actually coincident, right? So these two cases are the cases where we find, we can find a solution to this pair of linear equations in two variables, right? So in the first case, we find a unique solution, right? Because there's only single point on which the lines are intersecting. And in the second case, we can find many solutions, right? We can find infinitely many solutions because there are multiple points which lie on both the lines since the lines are coincident. So these are two cases where we call the pair of linear equations to be consistent or solvable, right? Because we can solve for the value of solution of the pair of linear equations in two variables. In the third case, we have a set of parallel lines, right? Or we can say that the pair of linear equations in two variables actually gives us no solution. Why? Because there's no point which can exist on both the lines, right? So in this particular case, we call the system of linear equations or the pair of linear equations in two variables to actually be inconsistent. So there are two different types, consistent and inconsistent. And in the consistent type, we get a solution. We have at least one solution to the pair of linear equations. And in the inconsistent pair of linear equations, we get no solution. Right? So this is something that we'll study about in a little detail later on in the chapter. For now, let's move on and study about the graphical method of solving a pair of linear equations in two variables. What do we mean by graphical method of solving a pair of linear equations in two variables? Well, graphical method basically means that we plot these two lines and we find a solution by having a look at or by having a look at the representation of the pair of linear equations on a graph. Right, so let's go ahead and see how we solve a pair of linear equations using the means of graph. So let's move on and study how we solve a pair of linear equations using the graphical method. So let's take an example. So let's take the pair of linear equations x plus y is equals to 3 and 3x minus 2y is equals to 4. So let's, just, let's take these two equations and try to solve them graphically. So the first thing that we'll need is a graph, right? So let's draw a graph here. So now we have a graph, right? We have the x-axis and the y-axis. Now, how do we solve this? So the first thing that we need to do is to represent these two equations in the forms of two lines, right? Two lines on the graph. So now how do we do that? So let's start with the first uh, linear equation. So let's start with x plus y is equals to 3. Now to draw a line on the graph, what we need is we need, need any two points which lie on this line, right? Because if we find two points which lie on this line, we can just connect those two points and we'll get this line, right? We we'll get the equation x plus y is equals to 3 represented in a line. So what we have to do is we have to find two values which satisfy this equation, right? Or in other words, two points which would lie on the line represented by x plus y is equals to 3. So let's find those two points first. So let's represent x in the terms of y. So x is equals to 3 minus y. So now I can draw a table where I can find the values of x and y. Right? So let me take the value of x to be 0. So if I take the value of x to be 0, I can find the value of y, right? So if x is equals to zero, the value of y is equals to minus, is equals to plus three, right? So, sorry, if x is equals to zero, the value of y is 
3. Now, what if the value of y is 1? If the value of y is 1, I can calculate the value of x, right? If the value of y is 1, right, I get the value of x as 2. So now what I found is I found two points, 0, 3 and 2, 1. Now these are two points which lie on the line that would be represented by x plus y is equals to 3. So let's plot these two points. So let's plot 0, 3. And now let's plot 2, 1. Now what we can do is we can just connect these two points to draw a line which is which can be represented by x plus y is equals to 3. So we have found the line which is given by x plus y is equals to 3. Now let's move on to the second equation. So the second equation is 3x minus 2y is equals to 4. Right. So again let's do the same activity for this particular equation as well. Right. So let's represent the value of x in terms of the value of y. So I can say x is equals to 4 minus 4 plus 2y upon 3. Right. So x is equals to 4 plus 2y upon 3. So now let's do the same activity for this line as well. Right. So for the first line, the two points that we got was 0 comma 3 comma 2 comma 1. Right. So now let's do the same activity for the second line as well. Right. So for the second line, if I take the value of y as 1, right. So if I take the value of y as 1, I get the value of x as so 4 plus 2 upon 3, right, which is 6 upon 3, which is 2. And if I take the value of y as 4, if I take the value of y as 4, I get the value of x as 4 into 2 plus 4, which is 12 upon 3, which is 4. Right. So if I take the value of y as 4, I get the value of x as 4. So now I have two different points which lie on the line that would be represented by the equation 3x minus 2y is equals to 4. Right. So the two points are 2 comma 1 and 4 comma 4. So now let's plot these two points right and try and draw a line through these two points. So let's plot the point 2 comma 1 and let's plot the point 4 comma 4. Now let's draw a line through these two points. So now this line is what represents the equation 3x minus 2y is equals to 4. So now we have plotted both the lines or both the pair of linear equations in graphical form, right? Now what we have to do is we can have a look at this graph and we can we clearly see that the point 2 comma 1 lies on both the lines, right? But there's no other point which would lie on both the lines, right? So there's only one solution to this pair of linear equations, right? Or in other terms, we can say that there is a unique solution to this pair of linear equations in two variables, right? And that solution is the point 2 comma 1, right? So the point 2 comma 1 is the solution to this pair of linear equations in two variables. And we can clearly see it graphically, right? So this is how we use the graphical method to find the solution of a given pair of linear equations in two variables, right? We'll plot both the lines by taking two points on each line and then plotting them to make a line on the graph. And then by finding, by having a look at the graph and finding which point do they intersect on, right? So this is how we use the graphical method for solving a pair of linear equations in two variables. Now, in the next lecture, we'll move on to the algebraic methods. But there's a question that lies here. Why do we need algebraic methods, right? We can use the graphical method to find the solution to any pair of linear equations in two variables. So why do we need the algebraic method? Well, the lines that we have taken here are very are fairly simple, right? It's very easy to find two points which lie on these lines. These, these equations might get a little more complex as well. So it might not be always convenient to plot these two lines on a graph, right? And then have a look at what point do they intersect on. So we need a more convenient way, we need a more easier way to find the solution of a pair of linear equations in two variables. So in the next lecture, we'll be studying about the algebraic methods, right? Which are substitution method, elimination method, and cross multiplication method. See you in the next lecture.